Whoa, oh, it's magic, you know. Never believe it's not so. Okay, how to be magic to men. Have that money mouth in all you do. All right, ladies? So here's the thing. A lot of people are ungrateful. You know, so you got to be grateful for people, right? So you got to ask, here's one of the biggest thing, ask men to help you with something. Excuse me, can you give me directions? Hey, you're a man, right? Just that phrase right there. That They love that. Everybody, I guess being a man because being associated with being strong and, and all these things. But I need a man's opinion on something. You know, these are some of the magic phrases, okay? These are things that will make men, will make you feel like magic to men. They will love you. You'll be simply irresistible. She's unbelievable, my back's against the wall. She give me feelings like I never felt before. She used to look good to me, but now I find her simply irresistible <laughs> so you'll be simply irresistible you know uh here's another thing can you help me lift this and then when they do it say oh you're so strong or help you help you to open a pickle jar or something like that something that requires strength lifting you know whatever but something that requires strength and then telling them how strong they are here's another thing that a lot of people don't realize i know for myself i want to be brilliant smart so I noticed that men love this too. Men love it when you say, oh my gosh, you are a genius. You are brilliant. Or even just saying you're sm so smart, but I would say just play it up. If they say something that is smart, then do that. Another thing, don't say smart, make it, that's what I'm saying, make it brilliant. You know, you're a genius, you know, stuff like that, okay? And I, smart's kind of like, to me, it's another weak word, but it works. It works. Uh, okay. Let's see. Or saying somebody's wise. That's another thing. Okay. And another thing is that men really love it when you tell them you're doing a great job or you're a really hard worker. Man, look at you. You're a hustler. One thing is do not say things that you don't mean. If you don't believe the things you're saying, don't say them. Don't just go to a man and just say, hey, man, you're such a genius. Just just to say that you're a genius to him, just so you can make him feel good or, you know. And also, here's the thing too, is don't, this is, this is one thing about life, is that giving is living. And as far as relationships goes, we should always be focusing on giving, right? And then, when we give, we're receiving. And also, then when others give to us, it's because we have given. And people aren't always going to give just because you give. But just give because that's what you want to do. Because that's what God wants is for us to be giving. And But the ones that do give are the ones that are grateful. And the ones that care because you have cared and you have given. So when you go to somebody, don't go and give them a compliment because you want to take something from them. You're already receiving. So don't be a taker. That's the thing. Men hate that. Women hate that. You know, but encouragement to be irresistible to men is to encourage them. You know, tell them they have a nice haircut because anything. The thing is that men in general don't sit around saying, Hey man, you're so cute today. You look you look good or hey man, you're smart, or, you know, great job or you know whatever. They don't go around encouraging each other in general and they're not and a lot of men are not very emotionally open or emotionally intelligent. So, a lot of times they're insulting each other and stuff. But the thing about men is that they know that they need that encouragement, which is why they know that women will do that because in general, we are the nurturers, okay? So just whenever you are in an interaction with a man, seek to give and give good words, give that money mouth, show him that he is valuable, okay? And that will make you more valuable, okay? You are worth it. Love you.